some more Final Fantasy. Let's get into it here. So in the last uh, episode, or should I say the last uh, stream, uh, if you watch the VOD, uh, we were able to... Let me just show you guys on my menu here. So if you go to uh, GF for Quetzalcoatl, the main thing we learned is this card mod. Yeah, and we did a couple of battles uh, in Triple Triad as well. Um, the main thing I want to show you guys today... Let's see. So, yeah, I want to basically show you how card mark works. No, but I want to show you how card mod works. Let's try that again. And uh, as well, I want to show you... There are a couple of rare cards we can win at this point, so if we have time, we'll do it all in this episode, but if not, uh, it's going to be two or three episodes, and then we're going to do another stream of grinding cards. So if you go to card mod, uh, yeah, um, you'll notice, uh, and yes, you do have to learn the ability card first, which is 40 AP, and then card mod, which is 80. But if you go here, you'll notice that, uh, yeah, one geezer card will refine into five screws. Hmm. So let's get uh, 15 screws, uh, shall we? Okay. This will arrive into uh, to a stone, imp stone piece. Interesting. Uh, we can get a few of those. I guess we'll get up to... Uh, these will refine into a vampire fang. Interesting. So this is the basically the key to getting a lot of uh, items in the game, is card mod. Galas will refine into mystery fluid. This is actually a very, very, very important item. You wouldn't think it's that important, but we're going to aim for eventually 30 in total uh, mystery fluids. So one of these will refine into black hole. Okay. Uh, five of the Fastidiclons, which we were fighting a lot, will refine into a water crystal. Okay. This, and uh, yeah, so if you didn't uh, get the spider web from the caterpillar, you can get him uh, here from card mod. So there you go. We can get a cockatrice pinion. Okay, we're just gonna kind of go through some of what we can get here. We can get some magic stones. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna keep at least one of each card. A saw blade. Okay. Sheer feather. Uh, yeah, you can get some interesting stuff here. Betrayal sword, coral fragment, sharp spikes. Uh, let's get three betrayal swords. Uh, two dino bones. Uh, one north winds. Four Ochu tentacles, a running fire. Uh, some wizard stones, that's actually really good. And uh, some Oom fragments. <laughs> Uh, a dynamo stone. Uh, and we'll keep these, the Krista and Eifert card. Those are some of our good cards. Uh, three of these will refine into a turtle shell. Uh, let's go ahead and get one of those. And we get a steel orb. Okay, so what do all these items do? Well, if you go here to sorts, uh, some of these will actually help out uh, Questus here early on. So let's start from the bottom here. Um, the do, 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 uh, running fire, yeah, but this, uh, Quis Quisus can learn blue magic gathering gun, so, put that on Quisus, boom, she has a new limit break, uh, with mystery fluid, she can learn, uh, blue magic acid, so, give it to Quisus, can learn aqua breath, yeah, we're really helping out Quisus here, this is, a. Uh, and if you don't get card mod for anything else, like, I understand, like, I've played the card game a lot, a lot, a lot, but if nothing else, get card mod early, so you can get this. D-Generator is probably one of Quisus's, uh I wouldn't say it's her best blue magic, but it is definitely probably her second best, her second best D-Generator, so. Okay, and I don't think there's any other blue magic where you can get. Uh, the Turtle Shell can actually teach one of our GFs uh, Vitality plus 20, um, so that's interesting. Uh, let's sort this stuff. And actually, um, at this point, we may be able to go in here with the items we have. And uh, let me just check. Uh, I actually may need more items than I think here, but uh, let's uh, get some thunder while we're here. Oh, speaking of thunder, yeah, let me uh, check out. Uh, there is another thing I can do because yeah, we have ice magic refined. So with that, um, you'll see you can turn the... Yeah, so this is why card mods also good. Because, like, even if you just get uh, these 
uh, Imstone pieces can turn into blizzards. I don't recommend that. Uh, you can get blizzards, but yeah, you can actually turn wizard stones into, you know, the highest Aga. The highest magic, which is Aza, Aga, you know, like Blizzaga, Thundaga, uh, Fire Aga. So, yeah. Uh, and also, you can get some more waters here with the water, extra water crystals you have. That's good. Um, but also, the North Wind we refine. Yeah, you one of these will turn into 20 Blizzagas. So, uh, also, this Dynamo Stone, once we get uh, uh, the magic refined for Thunder, we can turn that into. Uh, the Naga, which is really good. So yeah, let's give the 20 Blazagas to Squall. Okay. And, um, I don't know if that'll really help his stats with just having 20, but let's see. I mean, it might be better than, than Fire already. Uh, so right now our magic stats at 12. So yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, check it out. And that should show you the, the, the vast difference between, because look at, look how many Fires we got. We have 55 Fires, and it only gets our magic stat to 12. But, uh, yeah, only having 20 Blizzagas will bump us up to 13. So you can imagine, you know, once we get 55 uh, uh, Blizzagas, you know, it'll be, our magic stat will be that much higher. So there you go. Yeah, so I don't really recommend drawing, like, Thunder and uh, stuff like that too early in the game. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, this I'm kind of glad I decided to check this. Yeah, if you come to the junk shop now with just the few items we've refined, you can actually, yeah, with one Betrayal Sword, one Turtle Shell, and four screws <laughs> that I just did earlier in this episode, we can actually upgrade Squall's weapon to the Flame Saber, which will increase his strength by 55. Uh, I actually recommend you do this if you've done uh, Card Mod. Um, now, um, I may actually be able to get him an even higher weapon than this, believe it or not. So, I'm going to pass on that for now, but I did just want to show you guys, like, hey, that's why you want card mod early. Or, or maybe you don't. I mean, if you want to leave yourself a challenge and, you know, just kind of go with the game with, like, the starting weapons, then you don't, you don't have to upgrade your weapon. But I just wanted to show you, uh, despite not having the weapon magazine that we need for the Flame Saber, <laughs> we can already get it. And that's Squall's uh, third weapon. So, yeah, I'm not going to buy it right now. I just wanted to show you guys, like, dude, that is a... Uh, you know, if that's what you want to go for, super overpowered from the start, then uh, you can. And I actually do recommend you upgrade Squall's weapons um, as soon as you can, if nothing else, because um, with each new weapon Squall gets, uh, it actually unlocks... Uh, Squall has, like, several uh, extra limit breaks in this game. And uh, let's see... Around here. Yeah, 29. Okay. Yeah, for each uh, extra um, weapon, uh, Squall has like four or five extra limit breaks. Um, and right now, like the only one he has is Rough Divide. So I do recommend you upgrade your weapon uh, because it'll unlock extra limit breaks that you can go potentially go into. Now, um, by the way, um, before you enter here, make sure you no longer want uh, Quistus. Um, you know, for if you want to grind for AP or whatever. Um, because she will leave your party once you return from the Fire Cavern mission. So let's see what she has to say. Well done. Thanks. Let's see. I thought there was something else I wanted to, I need to go over with you before you take the seed exam. Oh yes, taking care of your girlfriend. I mean, your GF. This is something you have to watch out for. I'm going to tell you how to take care of me. I mean, uh, no. But, uh, yeah, she's just going to tell you about... Like how GFs will level up and stuff as you, as you gain experience and yada yada yada. And we don't we don't need to know that. Like I, I I'm telling you guys how to take care of your GF. So now change into your uniform and assume about the first floor lobby. Okay. And yes, so she will leave your party until you know. Uh, meet me in the lobby after you change. Okay. And I guess we'll just follow her back. You know. But once you hit the screen. You actually fine? Yeah, she's gone, so... And if you check your party screen... Yeah, she's kind of, uh... Down here at the very, very, very bottom of the screen. Which means she's no longer in your party, so... Yeah, just just think about that if you're, uh... If you're following along with me and, you know, whatever. If you're grinding for AP or whatever, or... I don't know. If you feel like you want to keep Quistus in your party, well then don't, uh... Don't come back here yet. You know, grind for some more AP or do whatever you want to do, so... 
Alrighty, but we'll head back here. Uh, but we're actually not going to change our uniform, as I said earlier, um, because, uh, yeah, there are some rare cards we can win here at Balam Garden at this point. And, uh, yeah. Uh, but just to give you guys a, um, a, a heads up, uh, after we get the rare cards... Oh, ooh, we actually want to talk to this guy. We actually want to talk to him. Uh, can we reach him? Uh, oh, okay, good, good, good. Want to play a card game? Sure. Okay, this guy actually has one of the rare cards we're looking for. But uh, to finish up what I was saying, uh, let's see if he plays the rare card uh, first thing. Um, let's go with Torama and Oom and a uh, Armadoto. See if he plays it. Okay, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, well, to finish up what I was saying, um, does he have anything with a six? No, okay. Uh, yeah, after we get the rare cards, I don't know how long it's going to take. It might take, you know, a couple episodes. It might just take one. Uh, but after we get the cards we want, um, we are going to... Oh, he can actually take my Oom. Should I protect my Oom card? I think I should. So let's put this down to protect the six from the fast to the claw. Yeah, because he doesn't have a five. Okay. Uh, but yeah, after we get the rare cards we're looking for, um, we are going to, um, we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna be grinding for a whole lot more cards, um, uh, here in Balam Garden. Uh, and for that, I'm gonna stream over on Twitch, you know, just so you guys know, so, uh, in fact, like, you may already see the stream before this episode comes up, but, uh, whatever. Um... You know, that's if you really, really follow my Twitch and stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to be streaming for, and I doubt I'll do it all in one day, but we're going to be trying for, uh, yeah, uh, 80, <laughs> 80 Elnoil cards, and, uh, that's a lot of cards. That may take us quite a bit of time, so, uh, all right, anyway, let's see if we can find that kid that was running around. Um, so if we, like, leave the screen and come back, uh, he may come back here, so... Uh, oh, what happened there? Uh, my, my, my screen kind of glitched a little bit. Uh, yeah, usually he'll come in running from this side, so... Uh, I guess we'll just wait for him here. Um, he he is the same kid, like, you may have noticed here in Balam Garden. Like, there's always a kid running all the way around the garden, like, doing the big, big circle. So if he doesn't show up here in a, you know, just a little bit, um, we will just... Uh, head to another spot, and he may, uh, oh, here he is, here he is, hey, kid, hey, what's up, wanna play a card game, yeah, yeah, let's do it, uh, trade rule one, ooh, did he reset the rule to one, no, cause we wanted on all, right, hey, come back here, uh, one, no, well, I may have to go back to the queen of cards and reset it, oh, he did, yeah, he, he somehow reset the rule, uh, huh, Oh, there it goes. All oh, okay, okay. Yeah, anytime you see them change the rule, the trade rule from a rule you don't want to like a different rule, try to hit quit like I did there multiple times. I'm kind of glad that happened so I could at least explain how that works. And then, um, yeah, hit quit until they try to, uh, you know, do what you want them to do. And then, uh, if you're lucky, like I was, uh, sometimes the rule will, you know, default back to what you want. So there you go. Um, once again, he does have a Abyss Worm, but, uh, okay, he can't take Krista no matter what. So I guess we'll take the Ochu. Yeah, yeah, I figured you'd do that. But um, uh, I guess we'll play Ifrit right here. Well, we could take our Oom back, actually. Mm, but he's got Triface too. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want to use... No, no, no. We'll put Ivory here. We'll put Ivory here. I think we got this. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll put that there. And then we just need to take this from the top. And then his uh, Sam OAG can't take his Triface back. So that's good. Good, good, good. Great. All right. So we win some more cards from this guy. Some of them are new, like that Grat. And there we go. Okay, and he still hasn't played the rare card, so let's challenge him again. I'm actually glad we got another Triface there, too, because uh, there is another uh, blue magic I want to teach Christmas, but we only had one uh, Triface, so... Uh, and Triface is honestly a pretty decent card this early in the game. Uh, what else do I usually choose here? Oh, yeah, the Oom. Where's the Oom? There's the Oom. It moved to this screen. Okay. 
Okay, he still hasn't played the rare card yet, but he did play a uh, Death Claw. I think that card's new. The card, the uh, the one in the middle there. Yeah, Uma is a really good card. The seven and the six, like this early on in the uh, in the game, uh, pretty good, pretty solid. Yeah. So, ooh, he got the double flip. I wasn't paying attention there. Ooh, nicely done, nicely done. Um, let's. Okay, he can't take uh, Akira Toriyama here, so let's take that. Oh, mm, interesting. Interesting. This is going to be a draw. No, wait, he can't take... Oh, man, it is going to be a draw. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Yeah, it's going to be a draw, no matter how I play it out. Okay, we'll just take this. Yeah, it's a draw. It's a draw. Well played. Well played, kid. Well played. Okay, let's play again. Thankfully, he didn't play his rare card that time, because I kind of flipped that up. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely watch out for the double flips there. I was just kind of rambling and talking. So, you definitely want to uh, watch out for those, because that can really... You can lose your uh, Ifrit card, and if you do, uh, you'll either have to challenge them or win it back or reset. I actually recommend you reset, though, if you lose. Especially since I'm playing with the all rule. Very risky, you know. Okay, if we take his uh, Ochu, he can't take it back. Yeah, this, so let's just... And he can't even take Krista. He doesn't have anything with a five, so we're looking good. Uh, let's go with... Oh, he doesn't have a Visworm this time, so let's go with Boom right here. Okay, and he, uh, he doesn't have anything with a four on top, so we can just play this right here. And he can't even take his Buell back, that's funny. Okay, Eifert right here, and we win. Alright, but yeah, sometimes it does take them a while to play, you know, the rare card you want for them. Like, uh, it's taken for this guy, so... But that's okay, that's okay. Um, at this point, though, let's uh, card mod some more. Because I think, uh, yeah, I know for sure. Uh, oh, we can get some zombie powder too now. Uh, one of these. Grat, okay. Uh, yeah, I like to leave myself with at least one of each card. Uh, that's just kind of a personal thing. Uh, so, but if we take a curse spike, I think, um, Quistus can learn a new, uh, uh, thing, blue magic. Uh, also, these are really, really good cards. Abyss Worms, these refine into Windmills, which actually refine into uh, Tornadoes. If you get the Wind Magic Refine, Tornadoes are very, 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 very good magic. So, you may want to go for a lot of Abyss Worms, too. Um, you know, depending on what you want to do. But uh, let's go to that um, Curse Spike. Yeah, there's the Windmill. Yeah, containing Wind Injury. Very good. But uh, yeah, with this, uh, Quistus can learn the blue magic level question death. Yeah, and so I was talking about her best blue magics. Um, there is one we're going to be going for later that's definitely her best magic. In fact, it takes a lot of stuff to grind, forget it. You actually need 100 curse spikes, believe it or not. Uh, but uh, So there's that one. And then, uh, yeah, I'd say Degenerator is probably her... Um, her, uh, let's, well, let's save right here. Degenerator is probably number two. Uh, level Question Death is probably number three as far as her best magics, uh, blue magics go. So, yeah, definitely worth getting. I mean, and all you need is one tri face, so definitely worth getting at least one, uh, curse spike for that. Oh, there he is. He's here quickly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's see if he plays the rare card this time. And if not, you know, I don't mind keeping these duels in for the main episode, uh, cause, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, allotted myself enough time for this to go, uh, you know, one or two episodes, because, yeah, you know, sometimes they won't always play the rare card right away, so, yeah, and if nothing else, I mean, this guy did play another Snow Lion, and that's good for us, because, uh, those will refine into more Blizzakas for Squall, uh, nothing with a six on the right side, so we should be good here, ooh, the Oom taking the one. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I figured you play Snow Lion there, but we can cut it off with uh, Akira Toriyama here. There we go. Alright, and Eifert can actually take our Oom back. Uh, yeah, that looks like our best place. So, no way, he has Gel Eye. So Eifert's actually best right here, because he can't take the 5 back. Okay. Alright, we win. 
GG. No refund. Give me those cards. Yeah, I'll gladly take another. If you want to keep playing Snow Lion, uh, um, you know, kid, while you're not giving us your rare card, I don't mind that. I'm, and those Abyss Worms, I don't mind that one bit. Um, okay, Crystal Ifrit, and we'll go with our. Usually I go with one of these two, either uh, Forbidden or Armadodo, because they both have 6-6, six, six, you know, which is actually really good, you know, this early in the game, you know. Okay, I can take that. Um, anything with this? Oh, yeah, this is a free take with Krista. Yeah, and as far as you, you may wonder how I got the Krista card this early, <laughs> well, uh, on stream, like I showed it, but uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like we were just uh, basically uh, we were carding some of the uh, the enemies in the uh, fire cavern, and in fact, we were carding this card, the Ooms, and uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> One of them actually um, uh, carded into uh, the Krista card, which uh, I was really surprised to see. Because that's usually a pretty rare thing to happen. Normally when you card an enemy, um, you'll get that enemy. Like if you card a Oom, you'll get a Oom. But uh, there is like a rare chance, I don't know how rare, that you'll get a, a alternate card. So, but it's probably like a really low chance, like a, you know, 10, 10, 5% chance or something. So, but we actually got really lucky and we got the Krista card, which I think that's like a level uh, six uh, card, uh, which is, you know, obviously uh, is really good at this point in the game. Okay, he played another Abyss Worm, the card in the middle there, so that's good. Uh, oh, he can actually take Armadoto with his uh, Death Claw there. Okay, first turn, then we'll go... The only thing he can take this with is Abyss Worm. Well, no. Eh, okay, in that case... You know what? We'll make him play the uh, Death Claw. Yeah, let's play Armadoto here. Yeah, okay, okay. I figured he'd play that, um, but at least we forced it out. Okay, now let's... Let's take Death Claw with Krista in the middle here. We can take Krista back at some point, so... Okay, yeah, I figured he'd do that. I figured he'd do that. Um, I can actually take back my Armadoto now that I think about it. If I take it back with this, he can't take it back with anything. I could also take this card from the bottom. No, I think it's best at this point if we just tie it up. We just tie it up. Yeah, so we'll take this. He can't take it back. Okay, okay. Now let's take... Oh, and he cut off the Blobra. So let's take this with... Uh... Okay, I just had to make sure he can't take Death Ball back there. Okay, we win, we win. Very good, very good. I made the right decision with the Oom card. So now we get another Abyss Worm. That's good. Oh, and we get Death Claw for the first time. Those can re uh, refine into Sharp Spikes, which uh, can actually help Quistus get a new weapon. Ooh, trying to change the rule, huh? We'll let him go. We'll let him go. We'll let him go. Okay. So let's save here. Okay, and then I'm going to leave the room and come back. And uh, maybe we can get this guy to play his rare card. I mean, if not, uh, this is basically the explanation of a uh, card mod. This is the card mod episode, so... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, I did kind of want to explain anyway, so... Not a problem, not a problem. Okay, so we'll just wait here for a little bit. Do -do -do. I love the music here in Balong garden though very cool uh but yeah that's the plan for stream is to get um yeah a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of elm oil cards 80 uh, i doubt i'll do it all in one stream because that is a lot of cards uh and as you can see here these guys won't always play the cards that you you know necessarily want when you want them to play it so i mean we could be streaming that for two or three days for four or five days or for like nine or ten days it just it just depends man so but i do want to start uh you know today so <laughs> so if you see me streaming over on twitch uh yeah that's why um go with oom um, oh he does
doesn't have any sevens this time, so definitely safe to play. Uh, and a condor, huh? Uh, let's play this right here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ochu, huh? Well, we can guard our Toriyama, and we can take your Ochu. And no matter what, we can take your, yeah, Blabra, so... GG, no read. Yeah, Chris is actually very good. The sevens and eight. If you can force the action into the columns, like we did there, a uh, very strong card this early in the game, so. Okay, and we're back to all. Good, good. Uh, um, Christian Eifert's Toriyama. <laughs> I always call it Toriyama, but it is Torama, so. But that's just a joke, you know, obviously after the great Akira Toriyama, who made Dragon Ball Z, so. Oh, does he even have a 7? I didn't even check. I just, <laughs> that's just my default when I'm playing this game, is to play Armadodo or whatever I have 6s on uh, right away like that. Uh, okay, okay. All right. Looks like we'll get another Triface here, too. Uh, actually, Triface is um, this card right here. You may want to get a lot of this card early on, too. You know, like I said, how Abyss Worms can refine into um, uh, Windmills. These, if you get uh, one of them, eventually you'll get a GF ability to revive that into Pains, uh, the spell Pain. And that is a very, 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 very good spell, uh, or magic, to use, uh, especially this early in the game. So, yeah. Um, if you can find someone to duel that you can get Trifaces from very easily, I highly recommend you do so. Uh, let's see. There's the Armadodo. Where's the Oom? Yeah, yeah, Oom. Okay. I have to remember, I can't say this word on YouTube. The Oom. <laughs> All right, you have any sevens? Uh, ooh, you do have another Snow Lion. We'll take that. Okay. All right, and this is the reality of this game, folks. Obviously, this guy hasn't played his rare card, even though we've dueled him like eight times. Uh, sometimes they just won't play the rare card, man. I, I don't know what else to say. That's just that's just the reality of this game. Um, yeah, so if you want um, certain rare cards, well, you're just going to have to deal with it. I mean, you know, sometimes you get lucky and they play it right away. Sometimes you don't. And, uh, yeah, you kind of have to deal with this. So, uh, anyway, we'll take a snow lion. So, all right. And we'll play the moon. But at least we are building up our snow lions and abysses worms. That is good. That is good. Thanks, kid. All right. Let's see. Okay, maybe he'll play it this time. Um, and I'm trying not to spoil what rare card he has till he plays it. But uh, oh wow, he still didn't play it. Wow. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is safe. This is safe. Well, we can play Oom right here, and that's safe. Okay. Took me a while to see that, but, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. And, like, basically, you guys are probably seeing my strategy in this game. Basically, like, I look at this card, like, for example, my 4 is going to be exposed to the left side, so, and since we're playing with open, you can see, like, this is what uh, uh, he has on the right side. Two, four, and four. So this is a safe play. So that's normally what I do in this uh, when I play Triple Triad. Just leave your best sides exposed, you know. And if you can take cards, can take cards. But if you can't, or if it's the first turn, you know, play defensively like I do with uh, Armadodo. I think it's a good strategy. Oh, we got Mesmerized for the first time. And we got Grendel. Cool. All right. So we're getting some new cards in the meantime. Good. Go with Krista, Torama, Boom, and uh, where is. Oh, it moved over here. Uh, Armadillo. Okay. Wow, he still didn't play it. Oh my goodness. Alright. Oh, he has Death Claw. That's my bad. Um, oh, we'll do what we did last time. Let's take this. Krista, because we can always take Krista back. Oh, he took that. Oh, so I can never take that back. That's actually pretty smart. Um, but if I play Torama here, yeah. Oh, he has only ones on the on the right side. Oh my god. 
Okay, yeah, this is definitely a safe play then. Uh-huh. Okay, so, and once again, he has only ones on the right side, so this is a safe play. Okay, we got this guy, we got this guy. Alright. Easy. Alright. Okay, we get another Death Claw. Okay. Want to play a hair game? Sure, kid. Alright. Alright, so this whole episode might just me be going for this card, I don't know. Uh, how are we doing on time, by the way? Uh... Sorry. Let me check what time it is. Um... Okay. Oh, I wasn't even looking at what cards he's got. Okay, okay. We're good. Okay. Take his blood soul there. Um, we should be able to take that with Eifert. Yeah, and then that card's blocked off for good, so. Alright. He can't take a five. That Chris is so good, man. Alright, and that was uh, really easy. Alright. Did we get any new cards here? No, but we got another Triface, which, as I told you, is good. Oh, uh, yeah, what time are we at? Ooh. Okay, yeah, I think I started this around 3.13 as far as the playtime. So, uh, yeah, this is just going to be the card mod explanation uh, episode. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys, but, um, yeah, uh, that's just the way the luck go sometimes. Um, I'm going to take a break, and in the next episode, we will continue trying to win the rare cards we can. And, uh, yeah, I don't know how long it's going to take, so it may take us two or three episodes. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy 8. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.